Hi everyone, this video is an updated tutorial on how to play Nintendo Entertainment System games on your TI Inspire and TI Inspire CX and CX2 using NES Spire. The first thing that you must ensure you have done is installed Endless, which is a jailbreak that allows you to run otherwise non-supported programs such as NES Spire. I highly recommend viewing my updated Endless installation tutorial to show you how to do that, which will be in the description. With that out of the way, you want to go to this TI Calc page and download NES Spire. All website links will be in the description as always. You should also dump some genuine NES ROMs from your original cartridges at this point. Check my pinned comment on the video. Now extract both NES Spy and your authentic NES ROMs if they are also in zipped folders. I recommend creating a new folder which I'll call NES and copy all the files that will be transferred to the calculator to it just to keep the TI Inspire's documents organised a bit better. Open that newly created folder and copy the extracted NES ROMs to it and NES Spire. I'd also rename NES Spire with a number 1 in front of it so that it appears at the top of the folder. To convert the ROMs to TNS format recognised by the calculator, go to the View tab in File Explorer and make sure the box next to File Name Extensions is checked. Simply edit the names of the ROMs by adding .tns on the end after the .nes and you are done. Plug your TI Inspire calculator into your computer and open up the TI Inspire Computer Link software. You can also use the student slash teacher software or TI Inspire CX2 Connect if you are a CX2 user. Links in the description. Also in the description is a link to my Discord server and if you scroll up just a bit there's a subscribe and a like button. I would massively appreciate it if you could take the time to do even just one of those things. Anyway, if your calculator doesn't show up immediately, click refresh and then click select. Find your NES folder and drag it to your desired location inside the TI Inspire file browser. Once the files are transferred, move over to your calculator and click allow to any prompts that show up. Now you're all set to play some games. Open up NES Spy and select the ROM that you wish to play. You'll find the controls in the description. Thanks for watching.